Hello everyone. So, for a while now I've been keeping a list of what YouTube channels I watch, particularly when I find new small YouTube channels that could use a shout out. If you have any YouTube channels you recommend, anything smaller than, let's say, Mr. Carlson's Lab, talk about it in the comments. It's a good, it could be a good way to share. But I've decided to round up some of the smallest channels that, that I watch. You know, I am subscribed to about 1600 channels so much so that it's broken youtube uh the subscriptions go from a to the ascii characters and then back to a to a. it goes through a, a. once you get past like a thousand subscribers it it breaks the alphabetical order on youtube and it's basically useless but subscribers are basically useless i just type it in now i just search everything level one text anything i just search it in manually so here's just a quick look through my list that I've written down over the past month or two. I've been too busy to actually watch too many channels, but I'm still watching a number of them. It's funny, a lot of times I prowl the people that subscribe to me, and it's always fun to see who subscribes to me, but also, like, like for instance, Richard Checker Die, I've watched them before, and I forgot to add them to the list, so I added them to, to the list. And, uh, I've actually, I actually watch a lot of these people, especially George Rockall Schmidt. He's funny. So, smallest channel, Frank Raw. Really good, uh, like, stone cutting and some really good information there. I have a few of those tabs open of his videos because um, it, it, it is pretty loud outside, isn't it, Ty? Yeah. You don't have to shut the windows. It's just, it's just really, really loud today. Um... I have a few of his uh, tabs open of his videos that I plan to come back to whenever I start stone cutting. And uh, if you look at my tab counter over here, it's not 112 tabs. It's 1,120 tabs that I have open because I have all these thought processes. And that also is an indicator that before I started doing the roof repair, I was at 500 tabs. But I just keep adding to it because I can't watch them right now. I hope to get back to watching videos though. So Frank Raw, poor Frank Raw, 232 subscribers. Then I just found this one an hour ago. Construction failures or structural engineers failure specialists. I really enjoy the way that this guy narrates his channel. And Retro Tech or Die, good little Retro Tech channel. I've watched a few of these videos. I forgot to put them on the list. I feel so bad. I found that. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, vintage deck equipment. I have a microphone in front of me. Okay, we'll add that. Then, after that, we have David One Hi uh, Highway Net. Now, uh, he goes by Turbo something, Turbo Kinetic. He does really great refrigeration videos. You know, this is a funny situation where I've seen a couple of those videos throughout the years and I thought they were really cool because I love old refrigerators, especially semi-hermetic sealed ones where they're, you can take them apart and you can see inside of them. And uh, I happen to post a comment on his, on his recently, uh, on his recent uh, Gennett mini fridge restoration. And, and he mentioned that he, uh, what, he, he, he watched my videos and I was like, Oh, right, I upload videos. Holy shit. This happens a lot with me because I'll just post something and uh, then somebody will will comment that, it, oh, that, that oh, yeah, it, I, I remember watching your video about the same thing. I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot I uploaded a video. I forgot I even had one of those. I, I forgot I did a restoration of it. This is like with me and Tungar bulbs. It's like every year I search up Tungar bulbs for sale. Because I'm like, I want an old battery charger. And then I find my video of one. And I'm like, I own one? Oh my god. Sandro here. He had a different channel name before. But he's based in Switzerland, if I remember right. And he's shown some beautiful train and steam equipment. And all sorts of cool things. Basically a little mechanical channel. I definitely recommend Sandro here. Uh, Epic Epictronics. Cute little channel. board repair, all that kind of stuff. Something that I can take inspiration from and learn a thing or two from whenever I get into doing more board repair. Now, somebody, 
with only a few more subscribers. He's actually gone up quite a bit lately, because if I remember right, when I put him on the list, I think he only had 14,000 subscribers. Polymat. He goes really in-depth in restoring rare think pads and all sorts of stuff. Definitely a channel to look out, uh, to check out. Uh, the first one I saw was a year ago, reverse engineering a ThinkPad battery. Very good quality work that he did on that. Actually, reverse engineering protocols and stuff like that. Then, we have Engineer Bo. He's been doing some little uh, scroll wheel experiments lately. and yeah, I guess that's about it. I have a hard time keeping track of all these channels I watch. And then lastly, I have to add... An honorable mention, 4x3 aspect, radio, at 4x3 aspect Ratio channel, Dime Store Adventures. Anytime I see somebody making good content with 4x3 Aspect Ratio, I have to say something. So, um, I really like that he has 4x3 uh, Aspect Ratio. Look at now, that. To be clear, it's beautiful. There beautiful. Are plenty of open now, in this case... I am not recording in 4x3, but, oh well, that's because I'm recording just with OBS, and I got this little machine vision camera right here. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya, and check out these channels.